Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have seen whenever we click on this, a new activity will open like this one and how to render the data from the database and all the operations like checked, unchecked, delete operation and also the add operation. And also we have added this back button. So if you haven't watched the previous video, then just go to description there. I put the link for my previous video. And what we are going to learn in this video is let me just quickly close this application. Let me open my complete app. So inside this one, what we are going to learn is whenever we click on this and we are going to implement this part, this menu part, whenever we click on this a pop up like this will be opened. And we also have an option to search it over here. Here you can see this whenever I type yes, all the stuff with yes is visible over here and it's not Actually, we are ignoring the case sensitivity. So here we can see this if I type capital yes or small yes, still the result is same. Okay, so let me just close this and let me quickly start with the development of this one. Let me just stop this one. First thing what we have to do is let me just minimize all of this stuff and maximize it once. After this, what we are going to do is we are going to create one folder over here. So click on this new and we're going to create an Android resource directory. So click on this and here what we're going to select is menu. So click on this and click on OK and this will create a menu directory like this one. After this, I'm going to create one resource file, menu resource file. So click on new and click on this one and select this menu resource file. Click on this and I'm going to name this one menu underscore one. Click on OK and this will create one menu over here like this you have to simply click on this code or a split if you want to see the code in parallel so i'm going to put it in, in a split way so that you can simply see the code over here here first thing what we have to do is we have to start adding the items into this one so let me make some space and say this one first item will be i'm going to add item and i'm going to provide some id with the help of this id i'm going to link the operation with this um, id okay so btn my selection after this i'm going to give it a title so title will be my selection next item will be item and i'm going to give it an id and id will be btn custom list after this give it a title like this one create custom list Another item, give it an ID and ID will be BTN reset. And I'm going to give it a title reset to default. Another item and here you can see this on the right side, uh, the menus items are being added. My selections create custom list to to default. You can change the name as per your choice and you can also add extra functionality by simply adding it over here, the new item and uh, coding for the same button. Okay, so I will show you also how to code for this specific button. So ID, ID and BTN, delete default and title will be delete default data. After this, another item I'm going to add, I'm going to give it an ID that is BTN about us. And for the title, I'm going to give it the title is about us. Okay. Next thing what we have to do is I'm going to add one more item. So that will be PTN exit and give it a title exit. Close it. And another move stuff is we have a search bar. Okay. So for that, I'll, we also need to add the item. So ID BTN search and I'm going to give it a title search but in this situation as you have seen that we don't have the search button over here we have a search magnifies glass on the toolbar right over over the top so how we, we are going to add this search from here from the bottom to here so let, let me just show that quickly 
So make some space over here and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one icon. So to add an icon, what we have to do is first I have to click on this drawable, right click on this, click on new and just go to the vector asset, click on this one, select this and search for search and just select this one, click on OK and just change this one to black and just change this to IC search. Click on next and click on finish. This will add one drawable file. So here I'm going to set one icon for this one. So at the rate drawable slash IC underscore search. After this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some property that is show as action. And if room is available, it means that if space is available and you can see this now it's automatically over here and in the pipe collapse action view after this i am going to set one more stuff that is action view action view class and inside this one we have to pass android x android x dot app compact compact dot visit dot search view because we also need a search view that is a text field whenever we click on that it's already open a search view right so just copy this app and this app over here action view and here now the issues is gone so now our menu item is ready next thing what we have to do is we have to go into the app data and we have to actually create some of the methods in order to perform the operations with these buttons so let me just move back over here and let me just open my complete app inside this one if i go into this one if i click on this and here you can observe that we have it the button right so reset to default it means that delete as this will load the default data provided by pack your bag and will delete the custom data you have added in clothing so the custom data is over here right so we have whatever the operation we have to perform on the click of this button and this button needs to be done over here or you can also create a separate class where you can write the logic and call the data from this uh, app data but i'm going to write the logic over here so let's quickly go to the bottom and make some space over here and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the method so i'm going to write private and it will return a list of items and i'm going to name this one delete and get list get list by category the string category and boolean i'm going to accept one boolean value only delete okay so it will show error for now because it's expecting to delete a uh, return a list of items but we haven't returned anything yet so okay so first thing what we are going to check is if only delete in that situation what we want to perform we have to write it over here and in the else condition what we have to perform we have to write it over here so we already have a database instance right so database dot main dao dot delete all by category by category and added by so inside this one we will pass the category category means the name that is basic items uh like uh, beaches and other stuff right so inside this one we have to pass the added by so my constants dot system small because uh, we are going to reset it and delete all the data provided by the system so initially all the data which whatever we are going to add inside this one like this if I, we are going to delete the supplies data then these data needs to be deleted and these data in this data we have set the added by is system so i'm going to just delete those data if this is not the situation it means that database dot main DAO dot delete all data by category so category and this will delete all the data by the category okay so in that category every data will be deleted it doesn't mean that whoever ha has added into this one after this what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, put a switch case over here so switch inside this one we will pass the category like this and the first case will be my constants as you can see 
my constants let me just copy this quickly my constants dot basic needs camel case and we will return simply the method the data that get basic data here we go so now we can understand that why we have put the, this values in the constant in a different class because here you can see this we are repeatedly using these all stuff right so if you have to uh, type it manually like here you can see this whenever i hover over this we have this basic needs over here so suppose if uh, sometime it may happens that you may type something wrong you may lift and in a small a lower case or something else in that situation you will stuck in the between that what's happening why it's not working like that so next stuff is case my constants dot and so this one we will pass clothing camel case and return get clothing data i will explain you why i'm adding this switch case don't worry about that so let me just copy this one and paste it once again and just change this one to uh, personal care and just we also need to change the data right so get personal get personal care data again paste it and just change this one to baby needs baby needs change this one to get baby needs data something like this after this we need to paste it once again change this one to health health camel case and just return get health data again paste it technology and get technology over here technology data next thing we have food so let me just add a food stuff over here food camel case get food data again we are going to paste it once again and here what we are going to do is we are going to add beach supplies camel case and get beach supplies data after this again i'm going to paste it and here we're going to put car car supplies get car supplies data after this uh, we need to put once again and this time it's needs camel case get needs data and if this all not satisfies then what we have to do is we have to call this default and return new array list and now here you can see this now the error is gone now this method is perfectly fine right so this is how this will work and we have declared this private because we are going to again right now we are going to write one more method inside from that method only this one is going to be used so let me do that quickly okay so let me just make some space over here and here what i'm going to do is public void persist data by category and so this one i'm going to pass the category and boolean stuff right only delete something like this here first thing i'm going to just put this one in the try and catch block so that anything goes wrong we can handle it right so exception ex ex dot print start trace and i'm going to just show a toast message that something goes wrong something like this so suppose any exception happens then this will show a toast on your ui after this if everything goes right so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a list of items list and we're going to call delete this one our method which we have created and call the category and only delete stuff okay so now we have the data suppose if this one is true it means that we have to uh, delete all the data by category the system data whatever we have added 
and just let me move back over here and let me just show you it quickly. So here we have this option is delete default data. If I click on this, this will delete all the data which we have provided by default. Suppose here you can see this, the sports view is the last item which is provided by the system. So I'm going to add a random data. If I click on this one, here you can see this, this is the last item. So if I'm going to delete the default data in that situation, we don't need to delete this stuff, right? So if I click on this, click on this one, delete default data, confirm. And here you can see this. Now this item is remains over here. So this, in this case, it enters that all the, from this clothing category, we have to delete all the data, which is added by system. So this data is not added by system. As in the previous video, I have explained to you and I have shown you that this data, whenever we add a new item in the, over here, then it set added by as user. So that's why this data is not deleted. If we want to reset to default in this situation, what we have to do is I'm deleting all the data for this specific clothing category and whatever the data previously this app provides will be restored. So if I click on this and here you can see this last item is sports wear and the default, the random data which we have added is gone. So that's how this method works over here. That's why we use this only delete option over here. So now we got the data after deleting and everything performing the operation and after getting the data corresponding to that stuff uh, for the clothing here you can see this where it goes yeah this one this method is returned and inside this method we have added this stuff last item is sports view so now we got these all items so next thing what we have to do is we have to persist it right so just move back over here and if the thing is if not only delete in that situation we have to persist it in the else condition, we don't need to do anything. So toast and said this one, I'm going to simply show the message, uh, just category plus make some space, reset successfully, right? Something like this. And if it's only delayed in that situation, we have only deleted, but not added any data. So if it's not the situation, it means that we have to reset to default. In that situation, we have to add the items for items, item, colon from the list, advanced for loop. I press control alt L to actually format everything. And after this, simply we call this database dot main DAO dot save item inside this one, we have to pass the items. Item, right like this now after the persistent is completed then we have to show the message again the same stuff so let me just copy this quickly and just paste it over here okay so now our task over here is done so now our method is ready now we have to uh, work on that menu item okay so just quickly move back to this one checklist and here make some space over here and here I'm going to override some of the methods. So I pressed Alt and insert key. So click on this and override method. You can also see Control O is another alternative to directly open this override implementation. And here we can search for on create panel menu. Click on this and this will generate a method like this. Here, what we are going to do is just make some space and say this one, I'm going to use menu inflator and inflate is equal to get menu inflator inside this one inflator dot inflate and inside this one we have to pass the menu which we have created r dot menu dot menu one and we have to pass the menu something like this after this you must have observed that whenever we go into this section in the my selection some of the items is hidden right you can see this we have only three items so we are going to hide that items over here. So if my constants dot my selection dot equals the header in the previous uh, video, I have shown you that this header is being passed from the main activity to this checklist activity, right? And that header is being set in the toolbar over here. Let me just close this over here, this is stuff. So I'm comparing this. If this is the situation, then I'm going to hide the items. And I'm going to hide the item by index, right? 
so menu dot get item and at the zeroth position i'm going to hide the item so get visible is equal to false after this menu dot get item at the second position i want to hide it okay next thing we have to hide this menu dot get items and the position 3 dot set visibility is equal to false set visibility to false and if this is not the situation then if else if if my constants dot my list camel case dot equals header in this situation i only want to hide one stuff menu dot get items dot one dot set visibility to false i'm hiding myself in the my section my list camel case you cannot see itself like if i move back over here let me just close this just move in my in the my list if i click on this here uh, see my list is missing right so i'm hiding myself in this stuff so let me just quickly open this menu item and let's see so zero two and three what is the index so zero two and three this one my selections reset to default and delete default data is hidden in this situation if I move back over here let me just move back click on this one and here we go you can see this my selection is not visible over here that is the zeroth index reset to default is uh one uh sorry second index this is also not visible delete default data it's also not visible over here so this is how you can hide the items inside the index let me just close this minimize this one and if i move back to this checklist activity and here next thing what we have to do is let me just okay so after this we also need to actually code for the search item right so before we do that let me just start my application quickly and let's see if my menu items are visible over there or not so okay so I've closed my application and here you can see this greater build is running. It may take some time. Okay. So we have some issue. BTN search is incompatible. Okay. Android X. Let me just quick go click on this one. Okay. So here we did some small mistake. Here we haven't put the at the rate ID, something like this. And now everything is gone fixed let me just start the application and here you can see this now greater build is running and and our application is started if i click on this and here you can see this now we have the search item whenever i click on this and it's working right so if i click on this if i click on this one and here we have this my selection and nothing is working for now whenever we click it simply closes it right so let's see if that hiding stuff work over here or not so if i go to this my selections if i click on this and here you can see this now we have only three items over here so if i move back to this one and if i comment these three lines and let me just restart my application and let's see if still we got only three or all of the items over there so if I move back away, click on this one and you can see this. Now we got all the items. So why I have hidden this? Because in this, we don't have any data to reset. We don't have any default data in this stuff. And if I click on this, my selection again and again, it will open itself. That doesn't make any sense, right? So that's why I have hidden those buttons, that menu items over here. So let me just disable it, uh, uncomment it. And now we will move back to the working of uh, this search button okay search text view okay so over here what we are going to do is i'm going to just make an object of this menu item and menu item is equal to menu dot find item and said so this one we have to pass the id r dot id dot ptn search right after this i'm going to get the search view id so search view search view is equal to search view inside this one we have to pass menu item dot get action view and we got the reference for the search view next thing search view dot set on query text listener new 
search view on query text change listener. Just click on this and here we go. Okay. So inside this one, we have to simply return this false stuff and say this one we don't, uh, we have to actually work on this one, on query text change. Let me just uh, remove this quickly and return true over here. Inside this one, let me just make some space and here what we will do is list of items. Okay. And I'm going to name this one final list is equal to new array list. Okay. After this, what we're going to do is for items, items, and from the item list, I'm going to search for specific uh, stuff, right? So if items dot get item name dot to lowercase because I'm just trying to remove the camel case functionality from this one, right? Because if I type small a, then again, I want to extract all the value which start from a. It doesn't mean it's a capital A or a small a, right? So lowercase dot starts with new text dot to lowercase. This one. And if this is the situation, then what I'm going to do is m final list dot add items. So from whatever the text in the that text view search view you enter is came over here. So I'm just comparing this with the item name if it starts with that one. Okay. If you want to match that string uh, everywhere, anywhere in that stuff. So you have to search contains, you have to put contains over here. Okay. In the same way you have to change in multiple ways. Okay. After this, now we have this list, which we have to show. What we have to do is update the recycler view. So update recycler view and inside this one, we have to pass the final list. So let me just start my application and let's see how this works. So we'll move back over here, just click on this. And if I type yes, and here you can see this, all the items start with yes is visible over here. If I type A, all this item with A is visible over here. Like I can delete it. Now you can see this with the A. Okay, so let me just close this and here you can see this. If I type A once again, nothing happens because previously it renders the old item list. Okay, so you can see this now everything is sorted. Next thing what we have to do is we have to work on the item select. So whenever I click on this, I want to open, I want to open my my selections list. So how to do that? For that, just move back over here and make some space over here. And here, what we are going to do is we are going to override one another method. So control O and it will open a pop-up like this on option item selected this one and click on enter. And this will uh, override a method this one here. First thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an intent 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 is equal to new intent inside this one. We will pass this comma checklist dot class after this why i'm actually extracting the intent because we have to pass we have to make a app data object app data and inside this one we have to pass the that stuff okay so is equal to new app data inside this one we will pass this and we will pass the database stuff over here in the app data We have only one stuff. Okay. So let me just move back over here. This is the, okay. Okay. If we did it in reverse dot this like this one. Now the issue is resolved, right? Next thing what we have to do is we have to make a switch statement over here. So item dot get item ID. And if this item ID is case R dot ID dot BTN my selections in this case what i have to do is put intent dot put extra as you have seen that whenever we move from one activity to another activity i'm adding some data like headers and show stuff right so the same stuff again i'm going to add into this intent okay 
So here I'm going to put my constants dot header small and I'm going to add my constant because we are going to move to the my sections selections right so I'm going to add my selections next thing what you have to put is uh, that to hide or not so intent dot put extra my constants dot show inside this one we have to put my constants my constants dot false string after this I'm going to start activity for result I'm going to select this one and say this one I'm going to pass the intent and I'm going to pass the status code of 101 why I'm passing this status code I will show you in a while so return true so now start our application and let's see if we move back move to that activity or not so if I click on this and if I click on this one if I click on my selections here you can see this we are in my selections tab and you can see this multiple items uh, over here so if I click on this one and see for the camera and we have the coffee with character C if I click on this it will be unchecked let me just move back over here Here you can see this now phone like this you can remove the items from here okay if I move back and now we are back over here so again if I go over here you can see this now the all the items are hidden because uh, they, they have passed this stuff over there okay next thing we have the button to custom list Whenever we click on this one, let me just move back. Whenever we click on this custom list, where we have to move, we have to move into this one. That is my list. For that, what I am going to do is case r.id.btn custom list. Inside this one, intent dot put extra my constants dot header small and say this one I'm going to pass my constants dot my underscore list underscore camel case and I'm going to pass this intent dot put extra my constants dot show small my constants dot true string start activity and intent and return true inside this one we don't need to actually pass start activity for result and we don't need to pass the status code why because inside whenever we move from here to this one this uh stuff over here that is my selection and suppose i select this one and now here you can see that this one is gone if i move back here you can see this it's still showing that it's it is selected right so how to uh, get over this issue so that's why we have uh, passed this 101 and still we have to code some of the stuff in order to get this working so I'm going to show you how to code this in a while okay before that let me just quickly make all the buttons over here functional these two and last stuff and all of these stuff after that we will work on that one. okay so next thing we have to work on that btn delete default okay so case r dot id dot btn delete default and if i move back over here and here you must have seen that we are actually showing some of the prompt right so new i'm going to create a alert dialog builder and i'm going to pass the context this dot set title and so this one i'm going to set the title delete default data after this, I'm going to set the message. What are the message uh, you want to show? Are you sure? And after this, I'm I want to change the line. So uh, double line change. So double slash n as this will delete the data provided by back your bag. while installing like this after this what we have to do is we have to set the position so position button inside this one we will set the text contact confirm and confirm comma 
new dialog interface and this one on click listener and let me just on click and for this one dot set negative button and I'm going to set for negative button cancel comma new dialog and over here let me just set icon for this one so set icon and our dot drawable dot when we don't have that alert item so what i'm going to do is I just move back over right click on this click on this one select a vector asset over here click on this and search for warning this one click on ok change the color just change this one to yellow something like this and i see i would name this one alert click on next click on finish and this will add uh, IC alert over there. So I'm going to add one IC underscore alert and finally dot show and return true. Okay. So inside this one, what we have to do is we have to perform the operation. Basically, we have to call the app data. So app data dot persist data by category. Inside this one, we have to pass a header and we have to pass the true. After this, items list is equal to database dot main DAO dot get all and say this one we have to pass the header and finally now we got the updated items so we have to simply update the cycle view and we have to pass the items over here so let's quickly restart my application the app and let's see if this one is working or not So we start and you can see this install is in progress and now the application is installed if i move back over here here you can see this we have this button reset to default so click on this oh nothing happened sorry this one delete default data so if i click on this one click on here you can see this now we have this yellow button delete default data are you sure double n will uh, change the line and make some one more space as this will delete the data provided by pack your bag while installing confirm it okay so my application is crushed something happens let's see what happens attempt to invoke a virtual method get a package name on a null object okay so let me quickly check it get package name so it's showing uh, java lang string android uh, we are it's a null pointer exception right so here you can see this it's showing at line 175 and this app data so click on this and have we move over here so what we did wrong over here is we pass the context this but we have to pass this context because it's a different class not a uh, activity class right so we are passing the context in the constructor and that's what we are going to use over here so next thing let me just restart my application and let's check if this one is working fine or not so just uh, it's restarted right so if I click on this and here you can see this we have all the data so click on this one and delete default data and click on confirm and here you can see this default data basic needs research successful the default data is deleted now next thing what we have to do is we have to code for another button that is button reset it means that we have to get the data which we have deleted the default data so just move back to this checklist and make some space over here over here okay so case r dot id dot btn reset and again what we have to do is we just scroll it up and here what i have to do is create a new alert dialog builder inside this one we have to pass the context dot set title and i'm going to set the site title to reset to default and after this i'm going to set a message are you sure inside this one i will break the line two times slash and change the line basically and i'm going to show the message as this will load the default data provided by pack your bag and will delete the custom data you have added in 
particular category. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add the stuff over here. Header. We just move back to this one. Set position positive button and set this one. We will pass the text confirm new dialog like this one. Okay. So next thing what we have to do is we have to set the negative button. Uh, so negative button inside this one I'm going to set cancel and new dialog like this one. After this we have to set the icon. So I'm going to set the icon r dot drawable dot ic underscore alert dot show and finally return true. Okay. After this, inside this one, we have to actually reload the data. How to do that? Again, we have to call this app data dot persist data by category and set so this one. We will pass header and false this time. After this, we have to we have actually fetch the data from this app data and we have to store that data into the database again. Next thing we have to actually fetch the data again from the database. That is database dot main dot main DAO dot get all by header. We will pass the header over here and finally update the recycler view inside this one. We will pass the items list. So we have already created the queries for this one right in the first video. Let me just quickly show that query. So in the get all we have uh, written select star from the table name that is items where category whatever the category we pass order by ID in the ascending order. So this is how this query will run. Next thing we have rated the recycler view. Let me just quickly restart my application and let's check if this works or not. So here my application is started in the and in this clothing we can see the default data is deleted over here. And if I click on this reset to default, here you can see this uh, reset to default. Are you sure as this will load the default data provided by pack your bag and will delete the custom data you have added in clothing. So this is the custom data which I have added. So if I click on this and click on confirm, this will delete that BCD and here you can see this default data is added now sportswear. If I try to search for BCD, here you can see this it's not visible, but with the uh, items to start with B is visible over here. That is belt and other stuff. You can see this if I type T. So all the items with trouser t-shirts is visible over here. So this one is also working fine. These all button are working fine. Next thing we have this about us to work with the about us stuff. What we have to do is we have to actually create an one new activity, right? So let me just quickly click on this, right? Click on this, click on new and create one activity. So click on this one, empty activity and just create about us. Click on finish and this will create one activity. Okay, so we don't need to do anything in about us for now. What we have to do is we have to just move back over here, make some space. And what I'm going to do is case r dot id dot btn about us. Whenever we use a click on this about us, we need to uh, finish this stuff and we have to move to that about us space, right? So this dot finish affinity. And after this, I'm going to, oh, not this one, sorry, my bad. Uh, we have to move to this new intent, right? So intent is equal to new intent. And so this one, we have to pass the context this, and we have to move to this about us dot class. And finally, what we have to do is start activity and we have to pass the intent. And finally, we have to return the true. Okay, so we did something wrong. We have to enter inside this one and make some space like this. Okay, so now let's restart my application. And let's check what happened when we click on this about us. So right now it's nothing happening because still Gridder build is running and now application is reinstalled. If I click on this one, if I click on this and about us and here you can see this empty activity is open. It means that we move to the about us. Next thing we have to exit this application whenever we click on this with a toast message. For that, what we are going to do is case r.id.pdn exit. And so this one, we will finish this application, running application. So this dot finish uh, this affinity 
and here I'm going to show a toast message inside this one let me just inside this we have to pass this and we have to show a message right so pack your bag slash in exit completed like this and finally we have to return true so we have coded for all the buttons in the default case what we have to do is we have to simply cut this stuff and paste it over here and now delete this empty space press Control alt and yell to format it and let's restart my application and let's check if this btn exit works or not so i've restarted my application and if i move back over here click on this and click on exit and here you can see this message is shown over here if you haven't seen it let me just move back over here click on this and click on this one and you can see this pack your bag exit completed so this is how this works next thing now the every button is working and even our search is also working over here so next thing we remain with one small stuff what is that if i move back away stockings or underwear pajama t-shirt i have selected if i move back to this my selection and if i just uncheck that underwear and if i move back again here you can see this is underwear is uh, selected right so how to overcome this issue for that what we have to do is we have to move back over here and make some space and press Control o to open this one and here we will search on activity activity result and just click on this and click on ok and this will override one method that is on activity result we will not touch this stuff we don't need to do anything so if this quest code is equal to equal to 101 which whatever we have passed over here when you can see this Whenever we move from uh, this, whatever the activity, uh, whatever the on different categories, if you are in my clothing or another category, we are passing 101. In the return, we are expecting 101. So if this is the situation, then what I'm going to do is item list dot is equal to database dot main DAO. Again, we are going to fetch all the data corresponding to that header and update the recycler view and we will uh, pass the items list. So let me just reach my restart my application. And let's see if this works or not so If I move back over here and you can see this again I have selected this one and if I go to this my selections and let me search for Underview if I uncheck it and if I move back over here here you can see this this time underview is unchecked so here you can see this now everything is working fine even we can actually every function every button is functional now even the search button is also functional you can search anything as per your choice in the next video i'm going to show you how to add the icon to your application and how to add the splash screen and also i'm going to show you how to actually uh, create this about us page the complete design of the about us page let me just move back over here in my complete application i will show you this is splash screen click on this click on this and i'm going to show you also these all stuff whenever i click on my link like this if i click on this instagram it will open the my instagram account i will show you how to read out this all stuff so make sure you follow me on instagram and subscribe on youtube and hit like and just share with your friends that's it for this video guys just stay tuned and subscribe